Hi, so I'm live right now at the Outdoor Trade Show in Manchester event city um, this year and also um, late, uh, we'll, um, let's have a look at the spot stand. So um, the big new thing for them is going to be this Scott Super Track shoe just here. So I made a film about this, I've been making a film all day, so look out for updates on my YouTube channel. But this is just a little sneak preview of what's going to be big for Scott. So these are kind of come out in September. Um, and there's also, there's the Kinabaloo RC, which is out right now, but they're going to have new colours in January. They're going to have a bright pink and also this black one here is going to come out in January too. So let us go to another stand. Let's go to the Burton McCall stand where we will find the Camelback packs. So just hit me up in the comments if you want me to go to a specific place or do a specific thing. So um, here we've got the Ultra Pro vest. This is the vest I'm going to be wearing to run around the Isle of Man on Tuesday next week from Camelback. See there it says Zeph just on the side it's probably a bit more seeable on the men's pack so the Zephyr is a new pack for um, for Camelback it's going to be 10 litres and it's got, got all the usual stretchy pockets at the front and sides here like so uh, but it is 10 litres inside so much bigger carrying capacity and a huge stash bag at the side there it hasn't got the side pockets like I really like but it's just got adjustment there, so it doesn't come on like that panel as well. So that's that's goal zero for you here. These I use all the time. I was literally just powering my phone with one of these. It's called a Flip 10. Highly recommended. You just plug your USB port into there, and then when you want to charge it up, it plugs into a USB thing, like so. Definitely recommend the goal zero Flip 10. Okay, what are you doing? Oh, so earlier I did go to this stand here, which is called, um, this is a re-waterproofing product. So it's nice that I talked to Matt Graves over there. He talked me through it. And um, he was saying that they, they're stopping doing these plastic bottles. And what they are doing instead is um, aluminium bottles, uh, cans, because they're finding that everybody can recycle these, but not everybody can recycle these. So I just thought that was a really nice little environmental story there. Hey, Yvonne from Quebec. That's fantastic to see you. So we're just going to wander down. If you see anything where you want me to stop, then uh, just let me know. <laughs> um, this is the bus stand just behind me here. So um, if you're one of my patrons, you'll know that we have a wild ginger running bus and it was made for us by Buff and Om. So this is the bus stand. I've not been on it today, but you can see all the lovely, colourful things on the stand. And oh, I really like this. This is a nice hat, isn't it? I think that would look, that hat would look good with a Wild Ginger Running logo on it, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, hi, Robert Montgomery. Um, it's because I'm at a show and I'm just on my iPhone, so the sound is not going to be great. It's going to sound like I'm in a swimming pool, but hopefully it's just going to give you a little taste of what goes on here and my film with all of the products in that I've been looking at today will be out in a couple of months time um, on my YouTube channel. So this is just a little sneak preview of the, the shows that I go to to um, get you all the information on the new gear. So I'm just gonna wander around until I find a stand that I was on earlier. Quite a bigger room. Okay, so there's Lucky Poles in the background just there. There's Lucky, and then here we've got CMP. Recently did a competition where we had some CMP kit as one of the prizes, so that's good to see that they're here as well. And then, oh, we're going to come up now to um, hopefully to Ultimate Direction. Let's go and see if there's some ultimate direction packs. My favorite bit of kit. Oh, okay, so I have a favorite bit of kit. There's a favorite, there is something that I found which is really, really credible from the ordinance survey. So I'm gonna wander over there and I might save that till last. Um, 
I might save it till last because it's really, really incredible. It's like, like magic, what it is. Um, something to do with mapping. Um, yeah, and apart from that, um, my other favourite has been, um, I was enjoying the Ultimate Direction backpacks, they were really cool. The Camelback backpacks I just showed you, they were really cool as well. Um, and there's some really cool um, hydration bladder cleaner, new hydration bladder cleaner that was really awesome as well from another stand. Um, so behind me is the silver stand here, so I've got um, a hot, the full range of silver head torches um, and I'll be showing them to you shortly. Hi! Um, on my YouTube channel in a different broadcast. So that's just, we've done this area here. Ah, Petzl, here we go. So there's quite a few on the Petzl stand. So here we go. I don't know if I warned Ben that I was coming to do a live broadcast here. Hi Ben, I'm just doing a live broadcast for my YouTube channel. I don't know if I warned you prior. No, I did, I did warn him, it's fine. Okay, so he's all prepared for that. Okay, so here we have the new Petzl Swift RL, which is coming out very soon. They're gonna launch at the UTMB. So the Swift is really cool. Um, Cause, uh, can you see there's a green bit on the side? There's, a, there's this bit here, uh, here. Uh, that bit there, the bit that was green earlier, it starts green at the beginning and it basically it's got like five different little five different little lights on it to show you how much battery life it's got on so rather than just one light going oh you need to change battery um, there's five lights so you can actually measure how much battery is left on your head torch and this is a reactive lighting so if I uh, cover the reactive sensor here it will think that it is darker here so it will be brighter as a torch so that's a really cool feature there you go you can see it in action exactly there so this is the Swift RL 900 lumens maximum lighting and compare that to the Petzl now which is just above me that is 750 lumens maximum so it's a really 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 good option there uh, the new Swift RL and I'll be getting that to test in soon so keep watching okay so I'm gonna go and look at some hydropack stuff now okay so this is Hydropack, and they have just brought out a bladder which has an insulating section inside it. So this bladder is insulated, whereas this bladder is not insulated. So it's only about like 40 grams heavier, and it's five pounds more expensive than a normal bladder. But if you get a really hot back, um, and you hate your water being cold, or if you run in hot climates and you hate your water being cold, then this is a good uh, hydration bladder for you. The other thing that um, they showed me from the stand was, that come off um, this new stuff called bottle bright and it's these tablets that you just put in your water bottle or, or your um, your drinking bottle or your hydration bladder whatever and they are sort of effervescent and they um, they clean your bottle and they clean it um, they clean it without any nasty chlorine and any nasty taste so you can literally just pop it in, rinse it out with some water, and then you're good to go. Um, drinking from that bottle again, totally clean. So it comes in little packets like this. I thought they were mints because look, this is how they, this is how they came on the table. So I, would you think that they were sweets? I, I thought they were sweets. I was going to eat one, but then the PR guy was like, no, you can't eat it. It fizzes up into your bottle and cleans it. So that's bottle bright and these are really cool it's um nine pounds for 12 in a pack oh and the other thing i just wanted to quickly show you was this soft flask here so this is if you make your own gels um here it's a 150 ml soft flask it's just really tiny and you can put your own gel mix in there um so that's really handy if you like to make your own gels or if you don't want like litter of gels so you just want to um put all your gels in there to start with Okay, so, and then this, um, I don't know if you've done any races lately where they say you've got to bring your own cup. So this is one of their plastic cups um, and you just just use a little clip to attach it to your backpack and you've got a cup for um, you refilling at either streams or aid stations. So that's really handy because we all want to get rid of like single use plastics and stuff. So I just really like that. That was cool. Okay, so on the way we go, um, how's the sound for a 
everyone right now. I know it's like not ideal conditions in a huge room that sounds like a swimming pool. Is the sound okay? <laughs> hey Lord Jonathan Hiscock. <laughs> Good to see you on the channel. Okay, where am I going now? Didn't see anyone from here. There's a tent somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah the signal is not great in here. I am I'm afraid. Maybe it was a bad idea to do a live broadcast um, in the trade show because it's like really, really, really bad Wi-Fi and <laughs> really, really bad sound. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. But yeah, hopefully this just gives you um, a little, a little, t a little bit like this trailblaze. So um, yeah, I've got a pair of those, so I didn't need to come see them today. But they are here at the show and showing off all their new products. Yeah. Yeah, oh, thanks, Sally, for sticking with it. Yeah, there is new stuff. I'm trying to find the ultimate direction stand, um, but I have got lost because I'm just wandering around now with a camera. Right. Not there. Okay, so I'm right at the end here. Oh, look at this mammoth. Mammoth from the mammoth stand. Oh, I know. I'm going to turn the camera around. Here we go. So we've got Cicerone. Hello. And guidebooks. We've got on running shoes. We've got Cordy books and maps. We've got Harvey maps. Hi, guys. Ah, the arm. Okay, so there's some really cool new gear from the arm, right? So this is the halo jacket. In September, it's coming out in this bright pink colour. So I've got it at the moment, but it's just grey, which looks rubbish in Instagram photos, doesn't it? So it's coming out in pink. Doesn't it look lovely? And that's September, and it's uh, it's 110 pounds and 99 grams, which is absolutely incredibly light. Then uh, we've got these really like they've just gone for massively colorful stuff at the moment on so um, there's this gilet which is really bright and also purple for the women and then we've got sorry guys it's just blue black and gray for the guys so not quite as interesting but what is interesting is the new cam light smock which is a combination of the halo jacket which is this one here and the come like a jacket which is on the arms which is a stretchy fabric so this is in the arms and shoulders and that's the, all the areas where you need to move um, and then the halo jacket is on the okay well i'm just going to presume that it's still live um so then we've got classic 25 packs and they're all going to be different colours um, in March 2020. So there they all are. They, they look pretty. Oh, and it's Alan Hinks. Hey, Alan, do you want to be in the live chat? Yes, okay, should we have Arm oh, in the background? Hello, folks. Yeah. Hey, so this is Alan Hinks. He is the first man in Britain to climb all 14 8,000 metre peaks. Um, so, Alan, what have you been doing at the outdoor show today? I've been lurking. <laughs> Alan, Alan is a professional lurker. Professional lurker. Professional lurker. And yeah, so who have you been working with? But I've been today? working with uh, Fial Raven and Hannah Wagner Primus, but I've also been doing uh, PR things as well. So I do write in magazines and uh, online and what have you. So I've been pro reviewing other people's products. So watch this space and you'll see them. So I've been doing my press bits as well. Am I looking into that camera there? Yeah, yeah. There. Just look into this you. one there. You can look at me if you want, if you prefer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I'm back to the lakes tomorrow night. Yeah. I'm going to go out on the hill on Friday and Saturday. And what are you going to do? For explorers. We've been indoors in Manchester mm -hmm. for so long. <laughs> and what are you going to do out on the bit hill? Bit of scrambling, bit of fell walking, a bit of bimbling, uh, maybe a bit of slow running, 
and a bit of scrambling, things like maybe Pinnacle Ridge, which I believe was a race on this weekend as well. Go Pinnacle Ridge. Yeah, yeah, it's one of Charlie Sproz mm. events from Mountain Run, right. isn't it? I'm going to go and nick his ropes. That's a, sorry. Uh, yeah. That's not funny, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> I was oh, only kidding. Watch this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh well. So, have you been enjoying the show as much as an outdoory person can actually enjoy a show like this? <laughs> yes, is the answer to yeah. that. Yeah. yeah cool. That's true. That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And so, do you do much running? Uh, I have got back into it. I stopped running quite a few years ago thinking it would make me last longer because um, I'm 37 now. I might look a bit older. 37? Mm. Yeah. I thought you were 21. <laughs> well, no, I'm 28. I'm sure about five years got ago you told me you're 18. the body of a 28 year old <laughs> and the mind of a 21 year old. Um, yeah. The daughter says it's the mind of a 40 year old, but there you go. No, I am running again, but not faster than that, right? I'm bimbling because I, I quite like it. You know, I just don't want to weigh my knees out and things like that. So I'm trying to wear decent shoes and run off road mainly, not on roads. Yeah. When you're sort of wobbling all over the place off road, if you know what I mean. Putting yeah. your feet here, putting your feet there, and yeah. trying not to break your ankles. You put your foot in a hole or put your foot on a baby's head, if you know what I mean. One yeah, one of those tussock things. Tussock yeah. yeah. things, yeah. yeah. Not very PC, that yeah. baby's head, is it? <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit alarming. Yeah. yeah. Oh, great. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying the running. Yeah. And you'll be back out this weekend on Pinnacle Ridge. Mm. So, yeah, we'll look for you on social media. Yeah, Give but you I a am follow. a climber, really. I love yeah. It. yeah, yeah. Hopefully we'll see you in the lake soon. Yeah, yeah. see you in the lake soon. Yeah, see you. nice to mm. see you. I'll let you go and interview <laughs> someone else. Yeah, bye, Alan. <laughs> Thank bye. you. Bye. Cool, so that was Alan Higgs, everybody. He uh, is the first Brit to climb all of the 8,000 metre peaks. All 14 of them so I'm just gonna turn the camera around because I think that we did the battery did the um, did it freeze um, at the arm have we covered the did it get my coverage of the arm classic 25 which is going to be available in all these new colors for March 2020 so basically this is their arms original pack they've streamlined it they've modernized it they've lightened it they've used all the new fabric and they've got them now in these really, really bright colours all for March 2020. So um, they've also got uh, some waste packs that have similarly been debulkified and, mon um, and uh, modernised. The zips are less bulky, the seams are less bulky, everything's lighter weight and sleeker. So that is some interesting stuff from the arm there. And so I just need to, oh yeah, I think I'm going to show you, just in case it all finishes, I'm going to show you the thing which I thought was the most exciting from the show. Um, so the most exciting thing from the show was the Ordnance Survey. So we're going to go find the Ordnance Survey stand now because it was absolutely incredible. Hi, Sam. I'm doing, yeah. And did you know that the OS also do um, picnic blank on a towel? It's lovely. Uh, definitely some. What we're basically doing is we're bringing the map to life. So you've got your, your flat um, 2D 125K map on the floor. Um, and in Vardy app, what the app will do is it will read the mapping and then bring it into 3D. So as you can see, you've now got that flat map in a 3D format so you can actually see and bring the map to life and actually kind of see what the contours look like um, and how that represents and you can walk into it so you can get proper, proper in wow. see how steep they are oh wow you can see all the hills all the hills on the flat map and then if we bring into the route you can then see exactly the same but on a satellite version a satellite version so you can see all the detail um, you can walk around and then we can pop up routes as well so the routes that are currently on the map, you can then see in 3D. Wow. Walk around them. Wow. And see what you're going to kind of take on and what the other route's actually going to happen. Yeah, before. it looks amazing. Like if you had a trail race to do and it, you plotted it on a map yeah, like this, yeah, then you could yeah, see all the hills great. and everything. Yeah. Yeah, so then you can, um, it's a really good, really great way of planning and actually seeing what you're going to end up doing. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, yeah, then you've got places on here as well, so um, points of interest oh, which yeah, are on the map so you can actually kind of see wow. where they would be. It really brings the map to life. Yeah, it's, like, that's, that's exactly yeah, it's magic. It. So it, like, just remind me again, like, where is this? Is it in the app? Is it within the app or is it so a special thing that you have to download? It's a special thing to show. So oh, okay. This map and how it works, we show just a special thing there. But what we do have on OS Maps, if I show you. So on OS Maps itself, which is our, um, which is our app for uh, 
uh, mobile tablet and also you can get it online um, if the show Wi-Fi decides to work. Oh, I know. I'm, uh, it's a live broadcast and I'm having major problems with like yeah, yeah. it cutting in I'll and out. Right. Everyone's being really patient. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's what we need. Um, so the app itself, has all, you can get um, all our map in, so all 125K, all 150K on the map. Um, it, you can get routes, so there's over half a million ready-made routes which you can kind of find, you can use. Um, you can create and plot your own so you can uh, start to plan your say, a trail run or whatever, you can actually plot those in. Um, and then what you've got is you, so if I bring up some routes here, um, so there's loads of routes around Snowden, as you kind of expect. So if I look at, say, this one, it will show you the route on there. Um, and then with Tabletop 3D, you can if it finds it. There you go. So you can place the model, and then if the Wi-Fi kicks in, then you can do a 3D. So then you can kind of bring it up, wow. lock it into position, and then you can do that same type of Wow, 3D on your route. On your route, so instead of it being wow. this whole map that we have up here in an area, yeah, it's just a small it, bit, much smaller bit, but you, you can, can do, do that for every single one. So wow, you can't wherever it is, you can do that. Wow, and, yeah, then you can kind of see it. And do that wow, so yeah, that's kind of that's cool. fantastic, and that is really the app. So that's Um, so yeah, so the OS Maps box um, is a digital subscription uh, for a year, um, and it's pretty much like you can everything. So all the maps, all the routing, all the routes you can find, uh, you can print maps on there if you wanted to, so you can print maps out, uh, yeah, anything like that you can do. Fantastic. Well, Will Break for Cake says a massive thumbs up for the tabletop view. So lots of people, and Sally Gilson said, that's amazing. So I think people have been enjoying that. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> brilliant. Thank you very much, Sam. That's great. Thank you. Bye. Wow, like that for me is one of the most amazing things at the show. So I've got my map here. Um, I'm going to try and get to Ultimate Direction now. Uh, right, so that's over here. Yeah, okay, Ultimate Direction. Here I come. I want to show you some of the packs that they showed me just now. Um, and uh, yeah, there's some cool stuff there. So yeah, I'll show you them, and then uh, oh, I'll go. I'll just pop and show you this um, Volkswagen, and then I'll go to Beta Outdoor Sports, which is Ultimate Direction. I'll just show you this um, camper van though. It's really cool. It's a camper van tent. <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, where am I? Oh, here we go. Yeah, I am right. Okay, so I'm going, I'm walking along now to this tent, which is the size and shape of a camper van. So this is really cool. Ta-da! <laughs> Paul Way says, do I have a hydration pack on? No, I've just got a backpack because they keep giving me freebies. So you have to keep putting them in your backpack. I've also got a bit of food in there that I stole from the press room. So this is the camper van tent. Hello! <laughs> and there's a camper van mat in front of it. And shall I go inside? Isn't it cool? Wouldn't you just love to have a tent like this? Park it up at a festival or a campsite before a trail race and you would get tons and tons of people. So here I'm gonna just open the door. And inside we've got a couple of chairs. So a nice sleeping area there. You can have two people sleeping in there. And then in here, oh, it's a bigger sleeping area here. So this is a bit longer sleeping area. This is probably the adult sleeping area. And there's some little pop-up tents in the tent as well. So it's really big, actually. It's like um, I'm in tent now and I can stand up. So there we are in the camper van tent. And um, let's go back out to find the Ultimate Direction backpacks. Very exciting Ultimate Direction backpacks. Um, have I come out the right way? I've totally disoriented myself now from spinning around in the tent. Volkswagen pack. Here, this next one. Down here. Down, down, down. It's quite a big room, but there's a trade show in Germany that we go to, which is about, oh God, it's like 10 of this size, size of rooms. And if you're late for a meeting, you literally have to sprint to the next one. <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, so I hope the sound is okay right now. Trying to sort of keep close to the microphone, the camera. Okay. So. Right. 
Well, I thought it was here. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hi there. Do you know where Vita, all the backpacks are? Like the running stuff? Ultimate direction? Oh, it's in there. Okay, thanks. I just didn't see. Cool, okay. We have found... Hello, hello. Oh, well, we have found crisps. So that's a bonus. But here are the new packs from Ultimate Direction. So um, good news for the ladies. There's going to be a, a mountain pack from Ultimate Direction, a mountain vesta. So previously, there was only the 10 litre pack and the 17 litre pack. Now, they've got a 13 litre pack as well. It's not going to be in this colour, they tell me, which is a shame because I do like it. It's going to be in this more of a this colour and blue kind of colours. Um, this is the adventure pack. Um, and new, new design is going to have this nice mountain design across it. Just for the ladies though, so which I think is a bit of a shame because why wouldn't men want a nice picture of mountains on their pack too? Um, so this is the ladies pack. And also, their ladies pack, they've sort of shaped, they've made it a bit more curved here because they were finding that it was a bit straighter before and it was sort of digging into some of the smaller ladies as they bent over to climb hills. Well, more good news for the ladies. Um, hang on in there guys, there is news for you too. Um, more good news for the ladies, there is now a fast pack, 20 litre and 30 litre pack. Um, so um, Shelley Gordon actually used this one in the spine race and she came second this January. So that is the fast pack there. And there's also 20 litre version just in here. There we go. Um, there's also a halo pack. So this is their sort of top of the range pack. The halo here. The other interesting thing that they changed in these packs um, from, from previously is that instead of, they still got this cinch, cinch mesh system in the pack. Um, probably easiest if I show you on this one. Oh, these are heavy. So, so if I undo this, these bits of black stuff are really heavy. So I'll show you the cinch system. Um, remember before in the Adventure Vesta, it was um, plastic here, and that was quite uncomfortable for some people. Um, I actually found that this bit rolled over as well and sort of dug into me, so I wasn't a massive fan of this cinch in system. Um, but because if you get the fit right, if you get the right size of pack, you don't need to faff around with anything here. Um, so that's just my opinion on like over designing things. Um, but this basically allows you to pull the pack in from um, from the back, which is it does create a really nice fit. I'm not going to lie, um, but it, it can just backfire if this if this bit here starts to curve around a bit. So yeah, this is made of material now rather than plastic, so that is good. Um, I can't really show you how it works because I'm holding the phone at the same time, but basically if you pull this, I can't do it without two hands, but if you pull this, it cinches it in. So there, can you sort of see that? There you go. Okay, right, I might just leave this and run because I've made a big mess and I might just leave it and run. <laughs> um, so yes, and then there is uh, more. There is more from Ultimate Direction. So we have, in this pack here, we have a rain cover. So this is the Adventure Vesta. Well, the Adventure Vest, because this is the man's version, but it has a rain cover on it. So here we go, you just pull it down and on it goes. Oh my goodness. Right. There we are. So that's really handy, because if your pack gets wet, then it's just heavier, isn't it? Because it's carrying more water in it. So there you go, and it clips on just like this. Got little clips on the side. There we go. Yeah, it's cool, yeah. Sally Gilson says, loving those um, Ultimate Direction packs. Um, the other thing on this stand what, that was very exciting was these Injinji socks. They were bringing out some cool colorways for this autumn. So these are this autumn, these are this autumn, and oh my God, look at these. these stocking fillers. I can see me wearing one of these at Christmas time. So they, uh, Injinji socks are great. If you've not already heard about them, they have individual toes, as you can see, and that for some people um, reduces blistering. However, it doesn't for me because um, it makes my foot too wide and then it squashes it more in the shoe. So that's sad because I do love these socks. 
and then there's more Injinji socks for summer. So these are the spring summer Injinji socks. There we go, little uh, little crew socks here. Uh, fabulous range of colours that make you want to get the barbecue on. And here is a really good eco story from um, Iceberg, which is a Swedish company. They did sell a few in the UK um, a while ago. They had a bit of a push, but now they've uh, they they sort of disappeared a bit, and now they're back. And the story here. Um, oh, that's cool. Will Break for Cake says he's planning on getting some gingy socks for his first ultra in October. Cool. Yes. Well, just make sure you try them out first, um, just to make sure that they still fit in your shoe because <laughs> they make my toes really wide and then they don't fit in the toe box. Okay, so these ice bug shoes are, this one's called the Outrun and it's got a super cool ecological story because it's one of the most recycled shoes in, um, well, in the world. They're sort of leading the way with their sustainability. So the shoe is, um, the sole is 60% recycled the midsole is 100% recycled and the upper is 100% recycled so uh, when I say that it means it's made from recycled plastic not just bottles just um, lots of different types of plastic and it's all uh, recycled and then made into yarns and made make this shoe the mid the midsole area here is also really really interesting because it's made with this foam called bloom foam which is made from blue green algae like I don't know how they make it from that but they make it from blue green algae so apparently that's really eco-friendly so that is good well done to iceberg the other shoe I should probably told you tell you about is the acceleratus um, which is this one here so it's just like super grippy this shoe also made from recycled materials as much as they can so they're being really transparent with their um, they're being really transparent with their um, with their shoe, um, with their shoe kind of production process, so that the whole world can learn from it, because they're still made in the same factories as all the other shoes, but they're just the, the source of their materials is much more ecological, ecologically friendly. And the the great thing is that they're not only carbon neutral, but they're carbon positive, which means that they are using up more carbon than they're producing. So that's that's fantastic. Tom Rob Tomlin has just <laughs> said something about the Injinji socks, which is actually true. They do take a while to get onto your feet because you've got to kind of wrestle each little little toe into the sock, and, and sometimes my little toe it wants to fight to get into into the sock with this one here. So yeah, yeah, you're right there, Rob. It is a little bit different. Okay, so we've walked around quite a bit here. Um, the signal is not brilliant, so I think I am going to end the live broadcast now because nobody wants to sit through like a whole hour of echoey, um, echoey, like random not being able to hear stuff so um, get, I've showed you some of the highlights of the show I'll be making a film which will have much more detail in um, <coughs> much more detail much more accurate and much more information about the dates and the prices and the timings of all these the new bits of kit um, and I will be hopefully testing a lot of this stuff as we go forward into autumn winter this year and in spring and summer uh, 2020 as well so keep posted um, with wild ginger running like keep checking out the channel um, and I hope you've enjoyed just seeing like this show. Um, this is where all the journalists come. This is where all of the trade people come, the distributors. So I hope you've just been enjoyed seeing a little bit of behind the scenes despite the rubbish sound. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, it's been lovely to have you all watching. Stay tuned for the next film coming out on Wild Ginger Running on Monday. 5 p.m. and then on Tuesday next week I'm gonna be running around the Isle of Man OMG oh let me just show you my wild ginger running um, uh, visor before I go um, I, I put my wild ginger running um, uh, patch on it I ironed it on which meant that it's a bit crumpled now um, but here it is I've made it. It's a little bit crumpled. Hopefully, it will look better when I put it on at the Isle, to run around the Isle of Man. But this is my wild ginger running um, patch on my new blue visor. So hey, I am looking forward to wearing that next week when I run around the Isle of Man. So bye, everybody. Have a really good evening, and um, hopefully, I will see you for a live chat in the Isle of Man on Wednesday next week. See you everyone, bye!